Well, g'day, Curd Nerds. Well, that was a bit of a whirlwind uh, 24 hours since I posted the video uh, Cease and Desist. Uh, what have I got to say? Well, I actually received an apology yesterday from the Grana Padano Protection Consortium. <laughs> Uh, and allow me to read the letter that I received from the Director General, uh, Stefano Berni. Uh, it's very interesting. It's a funny way to say sorry, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a, an apology nonetheless. But before I start, uh, thanks everybody for watching the previous video. Uh, really appreciate that and all the views and so many thousands of comments. Uh, on the video. It's been uh, very humbling and overwhelming that uh, this home cheese maker can get so many um, uh, so many views and so many uh, news articles. Um, I'm actually awaiting a phone call from some other uh, journalists to do a story on the on the piece as well. But whether that happens or not is a is a different thing. We'll see how that goes. So my uh, my offer to take down the video still stands. Um, I am going to take down the Grana Padano uh, cheese making video on uh, Sunday morning my time at 9am uh, straight after the live stream that I normally have called uh, Ask the Cheese Man. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll live on, on stream, I'll take down that video and there will be a surprise straight after it. There will be a premiere of a new video uh, that may or may not be the same as a grainy Italian uh, hard cheese that uh, cannot be named. Anyway, let's read out uh, Stefano's letter. Uh, and uh, uh, th uh, before I start, thank you very much, Stefano, for sending me the letter. Uh, it's very kind of you to reach out personally from the consortium and not via uh, lawyers and the like. By the way, there's a link to the letter in the description below if you want to read it for yourself. Uh, dear Gavin, uh, we saw your video uh, from the 27th of November, which was yesterday my time, uh, and you will say... Our task is precisely to protect Grana Padano's name in Italy and in the world. The counterfeiting reports that come to us from our lawyers every year are so many, more than you can ever imagine, uh, with great damage to our producers. You are certainly not among those who create such damages. However, the improper use of Grana Padano designation, uh, legally registered name in brackets, in your videos have been noticed by the control agency uh, we have and reported to us by our direct superiors at the ministry and EU committee. Gee, I did get some attention, didn't I? Uh, though it is true that you clearly state at the beginning of your video regarding the production that it is not real Grana Padano PDO according to the laws, Italian and European, Exploiting the reputation of a designation is not allowed and we were forced to report it. Uh, we did not intervene before because your good faith is clear uh, from your video and we are very sorry to see you and your community so angry towards us. Well, personally I'm not angry but uh, the community has spoken I suppose. Uh, Stefano, that's just the, what they do on the internet. Perhaps in this case, it would most probably have been enough to talk things through together so as to find a solution to the problem. Yes, indeed, it would have, Stefano. Uh, he goes on to say, P.S. On a further note, you didn't quite get the real recipe of Grana Padano. It is slightly different, smiley face. Uh, so if you ever come to Italy, once this awful pandemic is over... Uh, we would like you to be our guest and we will take you to one of our dairies where one of our master cheese makers can teach you all the tricks of the trade. Uh, if you would like to contact us, feel free. 
Kind regards, Stefano Berni, uh, Director General. Wow. Oh, uh, Stefano, I would love a all-expenses-paid trip to Italy to go and see your cheese factory. Uh, that would be very interesting. So thank you, Stefano, for your letter. I do appreciate it, and I do appreciate you reaching out. And thanks for clearing up some of the thing. I think it would have been better if you guys had reached out uh, beforehand uh, without getting an IP lawyer involved. Not that I've done anything legal my end, but like I said, it clearly stated in the video, this is not a PDO cheese. However, I did use a picture of your cheese wheel in my video, and to that I apologise. Uh, with that said, uh, as I mentioned previously, there will be a new grainy Italian hard cheese video uh, coming soon on Sunday my time, 9am uh, my time, Australian Eastern Daylight Time, uh, which is 2200 UTC or Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, so watch out for that. Uh, it will be preceded, of course, by my regular Ask the Cheese Man live stream. So finally, I'd just like to say a big thank you once again to all of my curd nerds and the curd nerd community to, uh, for standing uh, behind me during this uh, funny state of affairs. Who would have thought that a simple cheese making video uh, for home cheese makers would have had so much of an impact? Uh, it's so many people have told me in the comments of the last video that they have downloaded a copy of the video themselves and that's fine I've got no issues with that but I am still taking down the original video uh, as per my previous comments so thanks for watching if I have any other updates uh, then I will post them but watch out on your local interwebs there's sure to be a story about this soon in the mainstream media they're always a few days behind uh, but uh, yeah, thanks again. And uh, this is Gavin Weber, home cheesemaker uh, and uh, chief curd nerd signing off until the next cheesemaking video. See you later.